Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Peterson tail light kit. Probably the best thing about this kit is the fact that it is a kit. It's gonna come with everything new. So you're gonna get the grommet, the tail light itself, as well as the wiring pigtail. So you kind of get that all in one package. Uh, whenever you go to replace it, you know everything's gonna be fresh and it'll work the way it should. With that being said though, uh, I think this would work as a great replacement. Say if you just had one light bed, uh, pop it in there and call it a day. And that's exactly what our customer uh, did today. However, this is an incandescent bulb, nothing wrong with them. They're just not as reliable as say an LED. So honestly, if it were me and I was uh, replacing all the lights on my trailer, I'd probably look into the LEDs, but Honestly, if I just needed a single replacement uh, and wasn't going to change anything else, I think a setup like this would probably be the way to go. So I'm just taking our light here and holding it up in comparison next to the original one. And as you can see, they're almost identical. So this will make a great replacement. And a lot of times what can happen on the lights themselves is those connectors can get corroded and cause the light not to function anymore. To prevent that you can use some dielectric grease every now and again apply some on there or what could also happen too is the bulb inside can just burn out and you can't open these up to replace the bulb so more or less what I'm uh, getting at is this is going to make a perfect replacement if your light no longer works. A lot of times what can happen as well is that that original connector can get all corroded and beat up and no longer actually supply power to the light itself. And if that's the case, really not a big deal. And that's because the kit does come with a new pigtail. So this is going to eliminate that. And by using the kit, everything's gonna be fresh and you know it's gonna work the way it should. But as you can see, even in a bright room like we're in today, these things are still gonna throw out a lot of light and keep you safe and legal. They're going to provide us with the uh, stop lights, your running lights, as well as your turn signals. Now once you kind of get your hands on these, you can tell the plastic's nice and thick. It feels like it's well made and uh, should hold up for a while. These are submersible. So particularly on a boat trailer, that's important. I will say though, just to prevent anything from happening or help extend the life of everything, probably a good idea just to turn all your lights off whenever uh, you do submerge the light. Uh, and that should help keep in better shape for a while. So at the end of the day, a really convenient kit that's gonna come with everything and help ensure that everything is working properly. Now, as far as the installation goes, really not too complicated. You got a few wires you need to hook up and I would suggest picking up some butt connectors to make that task a little bit easier. But with that being said, it shouldn't really give you a whole lot of issues. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and hook it up together now. We're gonna be here where our light is that needs replaced and we need to remove it. So really straightforward. You can just come in from the back and pop it out. Sometimes these get uh, pretty tight in here, so it may be necessary to take a screwdriver or something and just help, help it out a little bit. We'll pull that out, then we're just going to unplug it, and just to give us a little more working room too, since the kit does come with a new grommet, I'm just going to pull this old one out as well. At this point, we can start to hook up our new pigtail. Now, I do want to mention, keep in mind, every trailer could be set up a little bit different, but generally speaking, this will get you pointed in the right direction. And, you know, your color wires may be a little bit different or something like that, but as long as you uh, replace each wire one by one, you shouldn't really have any issues. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start with the red wire that comes off of our original connector. And I'm going to cut that factory wire. I'm going to strip back the insulation there. I like to kind of give them a good twist. Well, the wires are nice and tight. And what I'm gonna do is take a heat shrink buck connector, place it over the bare end of the wire, 
These buck connectors don't come included. If you need some, you can grab them right here at each trailer. I really like the heat shrinks uh, because they do offer a little more protection against corrosion and things like that. So we'll crimp it down. And as I said, I'm gonna do one wire at a time here. So I have our new harness. These are pre-stripped. Not really as much wire exposed that I like. So I'll trim that back a little bit as well. And this is going to get plugged into the other end of that buck connector there. So get it lined up. And crimp down. So I'm going to do that same process for our two other wires. So this is what everything looks like once it's all connected using those buck connectors. And since these are heat shrinks, I'm going to take my heat source and seal up the ends of them here. So this is what the wiring connections look like once I sealed up all of the ends. And now with that said, we can take the end of our connector. We're going to bring it up through our taillight opening. We're going to take the grommet, push it through the grommet, and then we can push our grommet in place. And once it's in there, we can take our new light and simply plug the connector in. Now that we have everything plugged in, we can go ahead and put our light into the grommet. Sometimes these can be a little tricky when they're brand new like this. You might have to kind of work it in there uh, a little bit at a time. But once it's popped in, now it would be a good idea to test it to make sure it's working properly. So now I went ahead and plugged into a tester box and we'll try our tail lights our left turn signal, and our brake light. Now if you picked up another light, you'd simply repeat the same process to get the rest of them installed. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Peterson Trailer Tail Light Kit.